If you could start with telling a little about your organization. So I am part of Iran Angels. It's an investment firm um, led by me and another partner of mine. And uh, we started last year, 2014. Um, it all came around when you know we were starting our own venture and we realized the pains that entrepreneurs go through. Um, and we decided to have our own firm because we have a pretty good network. We both are from different backgrounds. I'm from the FMCG and investment banking side and my partner comes with a very good uh, retail background. So we both partnered together um, to invest in the startups and uh, connect with more people in this, in this space, back ventures. And what we're trying to do is uh, get involved uh, directly with ventures that are somehow trying to change the way we do things. You know, consumption-based startups is the space that excites us a lot. Something with the technology element, the mobile, uh, mobile element attached to it. Uh, but we look at everything, we look at all kinds of businesses. Uh, it all comes down to, you know, if somebody has a great idea and they're trying to solve some problem, the way we do things, some sort of, uh, it all comes down to that. All right. If you could tell us a little more as to how do you go ahead with the filtering process, I'm sure you have a lot of applications every day. So what we look at is not just the idea, but the person behind it, you know, because the ideas can change tomorrow, some kind of regulation may come up or a competitor may come up and, you know, uh, the person may need to tweak a business plan, not to discourage the business concept uh, to start with, but something that um, is trying to solve a problem. That is key. It's got to be, an, uh, there has to be a need for the business. Um, and uh, so the person has to be very passionate about it. We look at, we look at the kind of person behind and their vision overall, you know, uh, at a macro level, what they're trying to solve, uh, why they're trying to do that and what their uh, beliefs are in terms of building teams and leading the venture forward. Right. Few do's and don'ts for an uh, aspiring entrepreneur seeking funding. Do's and don'ts for an aspiring entrepreneur seeking funding. So I think a big don't is what I would like to give as a friendly advice to you know, fellow entrepreneurs is do not look for, uh, do not simply meet a VC or an angel looking for funding only. Uh, try and build relationships because you're starting a business and you're not doing this just for the next 18 months you're doing this for your lifetime hopefully or till the you know next big step where you want to be acquired maybe so focus on building relationships finding people who can directly be involved in your business as a mentor um, and be out there and collaborate as much as possible speak your mind, speak, you know, speak up about why you're doing this, meet as many people, you know, today at the forum we talked about the importance of collaboration. So a big do is collaborate, network and, uh, and another big, uh, you know, I would say as a do is uh, be open to tweaking your plans, be open to change. I've always, uh, you know, uh, been discouraged when uh, I meet people and uh, Maybe I, I offer some sort of advice or a you know critical evaluation to something, and if it's taken in a negative sense that you know they hold on to their plan and they don't want to listen to something new, that's a big put off because not you know I'm not uh, unhappy because you don't like my idea, but you're not open to change, and this is a business a dy dynamic environment where you know you don't know what's going to happen in the next 20 minutes. You know, the world can change around you, so that flexibility, that ability to adapt to changes, is something we really admire in entrepreneurs. Great. That's the last question here. What's in it for the uh, for women entrepreneurs in the Make in India campaign and how do you think women entrepreneurs can act as an enabler to digital India? I'm so happy that you know you asked this question. I'm really happy that we're having this forum specifically for women because uh, every time we attend networking events, especially in the private equity venture capital firm, it's hard to find women in the room. You know, it's, it's really great to meet uh, these budding women entrepreneurs. Um, definitely, if the economy has to move forward, India has to go forward and we're, uh, you know, uh, going in for Make in India campaign, we need the women to come out uh, with their business ideas and have the confidence in themselves to lead their business venture into the next level. Uh, a lot of times I think women lack that confidence because they are um, under that burden of proving themselves. Every woman has this... Uh, you know, inherent desire to go out and prove herself. And always there is a burden from society because of the conditioning in this country and even, you know, worldwide that um, 
women, if they are giving too much importance to their work, it's a question to them that maybe they are neglecting their home, running a house, uh, their kids, their family, but I think the world is changing. So women, you know, you shouldn't be apologetic when you're coming to an entrepreneur. You should be very proud. Uh, you should feel very proud of having your own business.